Salutations, everyone. This is Razor here bringing you some domination oh, gameplay on the slums. Today, using the golden S12 shotgun. I've had this video in my hard drive for like two months, so I, I apologize. I don't know why I was holding off on it, but here it is. Gold S12, uh, Merkin, some fools, Orbital VSET dogs, and the Swarm. I got the long barrel and the fast mag attachment with the S12. That I find that to be the best and really the only way to use this S12. As with you know all of the shotguns not named the KSG, you really need that long barrel to help out the damage over range with these shotguns. And it reloads ridiculously slow, so fast mags are a definite, especially... Since you only got 10 rounds, you know, you'll maybe get two kills before you have to uh, reload. And, you know, it's just going to be a clusterfuck if you cannot get those reloads off quick enough. So, fast mags to mitigate that problem as well. I got the 5.7 as my secondary, as per usual. My most used gun in the game. Uh, throwing some C4s because I got those as well. And a concussion grenade as my backup. But enough about the setup, Ghost Flak Jacket, Dexterity, in case you were wondering. Um, but really, all you need is a Dexterity and Flak Jacket. Ghost just kind of helps a little bit, you know, with the UAVs. But, you know, I don't run into very many UAVs in this game, so I have stopped running Ghost. On, I don't have a Ghost on any of my classes. Um, if you want a breakdown of, like, all my classes, I can make a video about that uh, below. But basically, when it comes to perks, uh, every single one of my classes has Flak Jacket. And I don't have ghosts on any of them. If I use a per per perk one wild card, it's uh, going to be for hardline. But don't really need it here because I got the S12 and this gun is pretty baller to get quick scoped there because the S12 isn't the best gun in the game at uh, short range. But, you know, it's decent. It's decent. It's got a pretty nice fire rate. And uh, can if you can maneuver yourself around the maps... Do a little ducking and divin and diving and dodging. You could uh, you can destroy some people, Sandy Ravage style. Although I have, I don't think I've seen him use the S12 in any of his videos. But you know he doesn't make a uh, hasn't made a ton in Black Ops 2, but still a boss nonetheless. You guys watched the Super Bowl yesterday? It was like a game of COD. Like seriously, it was it was it was crazy. You had, um, you know, the crappy team that everyone wanted to win and thought that they were going to win for who knows what reasons. It's just, you know, bandwagon players. Um, you had a freaking pub stomping in the first half. The Ravens were just crushing on the, that poor excuse for a team, the 49ers, a.k.a. the 40 whiners, because, you know, just like in the game of COD, they're all blaming lag and, you know, connection issues and... You know, they're just blaming, like, refs and all that stuff. You know, not taking responsibility for being bad at a game. They just got to blame everything else. You know, like a COD player. We had a host migration, you know, halfway through the game with that blackout. That, you know, that 34-minute host migration. Those are always really annoying. I, could, uh, I can attest to that. You know, the Ravens were just pub stomping the shit. Out of the Niners, they had the Orbital VSAT and their dogs and their swarm going, so the Niners just dashboarded, and there was a host migration for 34 minutes, and it, it came back, and the Niners got host, so they just started doing a little better, but, you know, it just wasn't enough. Get a nice little quad feed there with my S12. It faded, but I don't give a shit because I got my puppies, and I got my swarm, and a fury kill picking up some pistols because I'm all out of S12 ammo. That is another... Uh, negative when it comes to the S12 is you're going to be running out of ammo if you are getting those high kill streaks. But got them nonetheless, so it doesn't really matter. It would have been nice to continue on an awesome streak, but I have all my score streaks in my back pocket right here. I'm going to wait till the second round, as per usual, to uh, to call them in. Uh, normally, I'll be waiting till the uh, second round to call them in, unless I can get a VSAT real early in the first round, which does happen if I can get, like, you know, three capture kills and three captures. Uh, or Actually, I only need two captures with a few capture kills. Uh, you can get that VSAT and then, you know, whatever score streaks you have outside of that. But sometimes, you know, especially with weaker guns like the S12 that are only good at really close range when the enemy is not paying attention and you're rushing around them, like uh, fucking Ray Lewis, 
then there isn't going to be much that they can do against you regardless of what streaks you need to get or what weapons they're using if you're just ray ricing all over the place getting all flacco up in this shit i see uh, the s12 really suffers at mid-range um even with long barrel and fast mags you aren't going to be able to put enough bullets into the enemy in order to get the kill unfortunately uh, when it comes to those cases, you will need all 10 rounds, if not more, to take them out. But at least it is a possibility, unlike it is with the M1216, which has the range of a person's tongue. And so the second round is going to start up right here. We're going to go ahead and go for the triple cap again. Go ahead and throw up my VSAT before anyone else can throw up their VSATs or UAVs, you know, if they got them. And I'm going to try to get my puppies and my swarm into the game so they can play it for me. Because I feel like, you know, getting a triple C force is just not enough for, 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 for first blood. Get some VSAT assist. Makes getting the B flag all that much easier if you have an orbital visa, aka the Blackbird, aka the Nacho Dorito Finder, up in the air so you can snack on those motherfuckers because you're a bunch of hungry, hungry, hungry hippos, and you're gonna be able to uh, stomp on some people. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let the dogs go for a little bit so that way my swarm, my dogs aren't fighting for kills. But you know, uh, uh, Jim Harbaugh dashboards right here, so we have a migration host. And, uh, you know, that's just what's going to happen, especially in slums. Slums, you're going to find a lot of uh, host migrations as well as what's standoff. Um, there, uh, if, if, there, if there's a map where you can get from A to C rather quickly is where a lot of host migrations are going to happen. Um, you know, if the enemy team can't uh, capture the flag that is in their spawn, they're, they're usually going to give up. And it's just going to help out my teammate there. Going to get a kill and the assist as they pick the A flag back up. And enemy spawning at C. My dogs are getting kills. I'm going to call in the Swarmy Swarm. A.K.A. the Locust. A.K.A. Uh, just a bunch of hundred killer drones. Because <laughs> they uh, they do some work. Um, of course, with the host migration, you know, a few people dashboarded, including the host. But what you do a dude hiding in a corner? They ain't going to do shit for you, son. Gonna go and smack some fools. Sky is falling on these guys with the swarm, aka uh, the little chickens. Worst nightmare. Get a quad feed right there with the car kill on the swarms. Just uh, doing all the work for me. Spawns are flipping. I don't know what happened there. This guy, man, panic knife will beat a shotgun any day of the week. But. Uh, swarms, uh, you know, they don't last very long, but uh, they get a lot of kills, man. I love me using some swarms. The only bad part about that is with the swarms, especially when you combine it with other... Ah, getting no scoped again at close range. Uh, when you combine the swarms with, you know, VSATs and dogs and VTOLs and load stars, if not just the swarms alone, you get a lot of people dashboarding because they'll go, oh no, I'm losing a Call of Duty, I got a dashboard, or my stepdad won't love me. I don't know what the rationale is with these losers. You know, it's just a video game. If you're losing, just lose. I don't, I don't dashboard if I'm about to lose. You know, because that I don't know. So, most people seem to take Call of Duty much more seriously than I do because. In most games where, you know, I'll get a VSAT, you know, if I have these kinds of score streaks on, I'll usually get them. Not all the time, but I'll usually will. And the host will be on the enemy team 99% of the time. That is not an overestimation whatsoever. It is the truth. And there will be some, at least one or two host migrations because the entire enemy team will dashboard. And uh, that's just uh, not fun for them to get killed over and over. I don't know why, but uh, I had a certainly fun time using the Golden S12. My final score here is 63 and 12 with 7 captures and 10 defense. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Likes, comments, do what you gotta do. Later days.